G'day guys, James from Landwatch Australia. Today we're out here in the beautiful Black Hawk installing one of our custom property solutions. Matt, what are we going to be doing? Yeah, so we're going to run through the, pretty much the whole setup. We've got uh, a couple of front uh, gates where we're going to put number plate and thermal cameras on. And that way a property owner will know who is on their property and exactly when they've entered. Yeah, and we're also going to be putting water monitoring cameras right out in the back of the paddock. This is really crucial for this client because it takes them about 40 minutes to drive right out the back to make sure that the cattle have got water. Another crucial point is on their yards. We're going to be installing a Wi-Fi booster because they don't have any reception out there at the moment. Yeah, so really saving them time and money in the long run. But come along for the ride. We're going to go through each and every site, exactly what equipment we're using and what we're doing and show you exactly how we do it. Sounds good. Let's, Let's go. go. So as you can see, the guys uh, from West Hill, they've brought down some equipment to help the boys out. Now, that's not usual. Like if we're coming to your property, you don't need a bobcat, you don't need a cement mixer, we'll do it without that. But Jesus, making the job easy. All right, so we're out in the middle of the paddock at this location. Behind me, you can see a 12 meter tower. From the homestead, we're beaming seven kilometers to this repeater. From here, we're going up another five kilometers right up to their header tank where their uh, bore is. Also shooting out seven kilometers to another repeater. And then from here, sending out to the back entry where we can make sure we're picking up all those vehicles coming in and out. We're now at the back entry. This system we're setting up here is going to utilize a PDZ and also a thermal camera. The thermal camera will monitor the vehicles coming through. And the PDZ is going to be used so that we can look at one trough over on this side and zoom in on another trough 100 meters away over there. All right, so we've just finished off this location here. So we've extended our standard four meter pole up to nine meters. That's so that we can get across the top of the trees and shoot our six kilometer link back to the repeater station. All right, so we've just installed our PTZ camera down at one of the dams and also looking at the troughs. So the beauty of the PTZs is you can zoom up to about four to 500 meters in the day and up to about 100 meters at night. So here, they can check on the dam, see what's going on there, see the levels, but also we've got a couple of troughs over here near the tank and they can zoom in, check on the boys on the trough. We just finished putting up one of our repeater stations. Now what this one is doing, we're shooting down to one of the small troughs. It's about a K away. And then we have another dam 
which is back that way, close to three k's. And then we're shooting this way across to another dam uh, and also to have Wi-Fi there. Uh, that one's about two and a half k's. So the repeater station on a high point of the property, spreading that signal out so it can all be linked back to the homestead and you can jump on your phone, you can jump on your computer and see exactly what is going on. So we're here at one of the dams on the property and we've put a PTZ camera here. Now, the reason for that is we've got a dam here, we've got a uh, tank, which we can put a float on top. We've also got a trough. Once you clear some trees, you'll be able to see that trough with the, Z with the PTZ. And behind the camera, there's actually another dam that's linked to. So our pan, tilt and zoom camera, we can jump on either set presets or manually, zooming in to each of the crucial points, checking on the water level without having to come out here. Now also, we've got underneath that dish is our Wi-Fi access point. So this means we're taking the internet from the homestead. We've actually bounced it out to one of those repeater stations. We've sent it back down here and now we can have Wi-Fi down here. So, want to check your Facebook? No worries, but crucially, we can make a phone call and have some connectivity. Okay, so at this location, this is a typical water monitoring location here. We've got our camera system that's linking up to our repeater, and then they can live view from their phone. They can see the trough and also the tank. And instead of driving the 45 minute journey out to have a look, they can simply just look at their phone. Guys have just finished up putting a few cameras and Wi-Fi here at the shed. Now, our key points here, one, we want to keep an eye on that fuel, make sure we know where every lead is going. Two, we want to keep an eye on the workshop as far as tools or machinery, bikes, anything like that, we can keep track of that. And three, Wi-Fi, we've sent the Wi-Fi from the homestead across here, so we're sharing that same Wi-Fi and spread it all around here so you can have Wi-Fi in the yards for any data upload, or you can have Wi-Fi on your phone, you can make phone calls and get connectivity. This is the main entry to the property. You'll see to the right of me, this is their entry that heads down to the homestead. And this is the public road that carries on through the property. So here, what we've got, if you look up closely, we've got a number plate recognition camera. That's gonna capture everyone's number plate day or night. So the, the difference with those ones to our standard cameras, is if someone's coming in with big spotties or headlights, it's still gonna punch through and get that number plate. Next to it, you'll see our standard bullet camera. Now these ones are designed to have a wide view. So we can still see what's going on up and down that public road. We still capture who's coming in and out, but that number plate camera, it's focused directly on that driveway to capture those number plates. We're at our next location here. This location is one of my favorite on this property. We're right up in the northeastern corner. Behind me, you can see they've got their header tank and a really large windmill. This windmill helps us out with our wireless links. When we do our wireless links, we need to make sure that we're getting clear line of sight. If we can't get our line of sight due to the trees or the curvature of the earth, we need to put our links up higher. So this windmill is allowing us to put our links at about 15 meters above the ground. From here, we're actually sending the signal again down to a trough uh, right down the back. That trough takes a client about 45 minutes to get to, so now they can actually look at that from their phone anywhere in the world. We're also boosting the Wi-Fi here. They've never had phone reception here, so now they can actually make those phone calls with the Wi-Fi calling, and they can actually look at the camera to see what's happening in this header tank. With the PDZ, it's really helpful for these guys to manage their farm. They can actually jump in and see multiple troughs from this one location. All right, so we're out here still at the windmill. Now behind me here, you can see we've got quite a large box. Now inside that box, we've actually got a backup battery system. We all know out in the country, the mains power isn't reliable. So if they do lose mains power, the backup battery will actually kick in and keep that connection here so they can still monitor their header tank. 
So now we're down at that trough we were just talking about. This camera here will pick it up so they can see it from their phone and also in the office. We're also using this one as another repeater to send straight down this road two and a half kilometers to another remote dam. So we're at our final location here. This is the furthest point from the homestead. Behind me here, you can see our standard four meter pole. We've had to shoot it up an extra six meters to get over the top of the crest. From here, the client can actually utilize these cameras to view the trough on my right hand side. And they can also monitor the dam from these two cameras. They can look on their phone and check out what is going on in this remote part of the world. Alright, so once we've finished the installation, we'll actually run through the whole system with you and show you exactly how to use it. We'll run through on the actual computer itself and we'll also set it up on your phone. We'll set the notifications up on your phone to ensure you get those critical alerts of someone coming in on your property. And before we leave, we make sure that you understand exactly how to use everything. <laughs>